Do you ever put on clothes and just feel like, I am killing these oh. today? <laughs> That's like the beauty of clothing, right? Is that you get to like put on this armor. Very true. In a way. I'm there. Hello, world. It's your girl, Mala. You know me for turning looks on RuPaul's Drag Race. I am an international superstar, darling. Now, I'm bringing you into the closets of music's biggest stars. We're walking into their wardrobe. I'm going to show up in a gown. <laughs> and walking out with the story behind some of their most iconic looks. It's the walk-in, honey. Hello, world. It's your girl, Mo Hart, and we're coming to you from the land of designer shoes and press juice. I'm talking LA, baby. Today, we're talking with the beautiful and the talented global recording artist, Sophia Carson. Sophia Carson is best known for her chart-topping music and her role in the phenomenon, Descendants. And now, she'll be taking us through her stunning wardrobe. Let's take a peek in. Can I just do this one second too? Uh, stop! Stop, 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 stop! Can I have like a spin? Yes! Okay. Look, 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 look. <laughs> so I saw your Instagram and I said, oh okay. baby, I have to come in like a garment. <laughs> Because I feel like you wear garments. Garments. Right. That is so so. Nice. Okay, look, if you're gonna wear designer, baby, <laughs> make sure that it is giving the oohs and the ahs. Not just, oh, it's Gucci. Gucci the house down. Labels <laughs> are always the thing. Anyway, we have things okay, to talk we about. Have things Let's to talk jump about. into the closet. Shall Let's we? Come on over. Oh my gosh, Sophia! Now look, yes. we cannot know where we're going until we know where we've been. Well, so let's hop on back and take a look at these looks. Starting with this one, this ball gown is gorgeous and the beading is fabulous. I wore this to my very first Oscars back in, I think, 2016, 2017. It is an ode to Audrey Hepburn and her 1954 Oscars look. And I actually wore this piece on my head and I did like a low bun with the red lip and I wore this kind of like right here. And yeah. it was just, it was a really, really special day. First of all, highlighter pink, and it is Prada. Also one of my favorites. This was for Fashion Week in New York, I think 2017. It's like their Lino Rosa, which is like their sports Prada line. Uh -huh. What were you thinking for hair? What, what, what did I you do? I had my hair down, middle part, and kind of fresh. Very that. Sunglasses, any kind? No sunglasses, but I did at one point wear a bucket hat. Okay, very <laughs> Prada bucket hat, which very, very 90s. Very 90s. So had the matching. You have to. We the have to. The okay. accessories. And then we also had the shoes. Okay, lovely. Okay, now we have some condiments here. Here, some ketchup here. and mustard. Very, 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 now this. This is a moment. Baby. No, this dress is, look at the sleeves. This is Stefan Roland Couture. Yeah, I know, but the slit, like it's just breathtaking. And how it moved on the stage, it was for oh. the Latin Grammys 2019. Yeah. First year of the year, so I performed that night with scholarship students, which was really, really special. Now, how high was your heel? I think it was as high as yours. Okay, good. Okay. It was good. like the pump. That's like the super, super, super yeah. high pump. I do believe. Yeah. Like that's a key tip. Key. If you're gonna wear like a very long oh, and flowy, underneath you need all my dresses. I have a shoe that's like this high. Have to. So I'm like, I try to be five eleven, six foot. Yeah. Because <laughs> then you just like, oh, she's drowning in that. Otherwise, she can't walk yeah, it adds like the statuesque, nice. the very length, true. like you need very, it. Very yeah. True. Now, if you're in a platform shoe yes. and a mid-length dress where we could see the platform, you failed. <laughs> okay, now here we go with the, now this, oh, this is, is beautiful. Jaws. Who is this This right is jean Batista Valley of Couture. Yeah. Every time I wear his dresses, it just feels like a dream. Oh, and I wore this. It's such a fantasy. It's beautiful. It is a fantasy. Such a fantasy. It was the first red carpet, in-person carpet of the pandemic. So it was the 2020 VMAs. Oh, and you showed up <laughs> Exactly, like but the thought behind it, it was like, you know what, we've been at home. I'm gonna show up in a gown. <laughs> so coming out of the pandemic, what was your inspiration? It was a celebration of music. It was the first in-person award show of the whole pandemic. And I was presenting a really special award that night. It was the Video for Good Award, which is 
celebrating artists who use their voices for good and Jean Batista and he sent this beautiful couture gown and it just felt perfect for it just to kind of kick off the year um, in a dress like this that was so, so special. fabulous. I would have been like, okay, everybody got their photos. <laughs> Get some more, darling. Do you ever put on clothes and just feel like, I am killing these uh -oh. <laughs> Did you feel like that? I mean, first at the pandemic, that's what I would have felt. It's like the beauty of clothing, right? Is that you get to like put on this armor. Very true. In a way, and you just feel like you're presenting this version of yourself, or what story am I sharing with yes. the world today? And it is empowering in a really beautiful way. So yeah, in each of these pieces, I felt empowered in a different way. I live. Now you call this, she said empowered. That is the lovely way of saying, I'm sh that is today, All right, my dear, we have seen where you have been, but now it's time to see where you're going. Let's fast yes. forward to the future. <laughs> and let's start with this gold yes. number. This gold number is a gold done distress that I wore for the music video for my single Fool's Gold. Yes. And the visual story of that video was all told through fire. Uh -huh. And so everything kind of informed our fashion choices was the idea and the concept of fire. And I actually shot this while in a pool surrounded by fire. Mm -hmm. And like those clothes are all colors embers, that I wore. That exactly, that golden flow. embers, yeah. Very bad. So that was this. And I did hair almost as big as yours. I, wow, Not okay. as big, but almost I as big. <laughs> and this. Please, does it stretch? It's a Balenciaga. It stretches. This part does. I don't know if the shoes The shoes do The shoes do Isn't that crazy? It's like literally shoe to head. Like even gloves. No, it's really it's, it's spectacular. It's and in the video in CGI, we actually lit the train on fire. Yeah. yeah was... So you just wear it to the grocery store. Just going to Whole Foods. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And I walk with dog. Three. <laughs> Could you imagine? I live. Now we love a monochromatic. Wait, are these latex? They're latex. Oh! Have you have you worn latex before? I have not. Okay, so is it true Could you it? have to baby oil yourself to get in? Yes, it's true. Yeah. And you need more than one person to help you get in. And the sounds that it makes are just that, that ASMR needs yeah. to be made. Yeah. And I wore it with these shoes. It was a full Saint Laurent look. I wore it for my last music video for my song Loud, which the music video was told through the element of air throughout the video. It was all monochromatic. The first color was blue, because I've always loved the strength and the boldness of blue. So yeah. did you have to pee at all? That's what I wanted. I did not. No, okay. I made sure I made like, sure that did I did you not. Do? Like, girl, I gotta go. I know, it's I an issue. Go now. Girl, I gotta go. It's an issue. It wasn't my first time wearing latex. And okay. It's a journey. <laughs> all right, Sophia, before you go, I've had so much fun going through your looks, but I would love to play a little game. Let's do it. Talk. Of course! Oh, you just had that there. In the garments. It's called this or that. Okay. Okay? The overdress or underdress? Overdress. Okay. To only wear bright colors or only wear neutrals? Neutrals. Okay, okay. Skinny jeans or baggy jeans? Baggy jeans. Right, because don't nobody want no, no. like tightness on the back. Boyfriend thighs. jeans all the way. Wearing high heels every day or flats every day? I mean, what do you think? Thank you, okay. <laughs> Look, High heels. you wear flats in the house, okay, and that is it. <laughs> crop top or body suits? Body suits. If you ate a lot at lunch and you're bloated. You don't want a crop top. That part, I think about okay. that all the time. I'm like, why would you wear a crop top? Why would you eat something? <laughs> if you have a stain on your clothes or a tear? A tear. Look at that could be chic. I do agree. You could right? just rip it and just go boom. Yeah, this, this is, is intentional. A look. This is the look. But if you look. have a stain, it's like, oh, you it's had not. coffee. Yeah. Like, who spelled ketchup on you? Condiments, once again. <laughs> Skirts or pants? Pants. Fabulous, I agree. Ultimate supply of perfectly white tees or an ultimate supply of perfect little black dresses? I don't know. I don't know. Can I? I'm going to say. Oh. Okay, good, because if you were going to say white tees, I was going to say you're going to need a sponsorship from Clorox or something like that. Sophia, you have been so fabulous. Thank you. You won with flying colors. Let's get rid of that. Thank you for letting us walk into your pleasure. wardrobe, getting the stories, the tea. Now we're going to walk out, but I'm going to take this little Louis purse. It's you. yours. Okay. <gasps> Mom! Thank you so much for watching The Walk-In. Click here to subscribe to Amazon Music and click here to watch more episodes of The Walk-In. And click here to stream my album, Sophia Carson, on Amazon Music.
We'll see you next time. Bye.